Hi guys, today we're going to configure one of the most popular feature of Nexus devices, the VPC or the virtual port, virtual port channel. VPC is used to logically bundle uh, two different uh, two uh, physical links connected to two different switches. So, benefits of using VPC is to utilize all the available bandwidth provides fast convergence and el eliminate uh, STP block ports spanning to block ports so for this lab we're going to configure uh, VPC so the steps to configure VPC first you have to configure the v VPC domain uh, which should be identical between uh, two VPC peers so the v VPC domain number should be the same next would be configure the v VPC peer keep alive which is a L3 layer link which uh, sends uh, heartbeat messages between two VPC peer devices next would be the VPC peer link which carries the actual traffic between two VP VPC peers and lastly uh, after configuring both VPC peer keep alive and VPC peer link we have to mem member the switch ports into our uh, VPC so as I mentioned earlier uh, we're going to configure the VPCs. So, so first thing we do is to enable the VPC feature in all Nexus devices. So configure the feature VPC and then for here VPC2 feature VPC. Next we're going to configure the VPC peer keep alive layer 3 link. So, first we're going to configure ETH uh, 1 slash 3. 1 slash 3. No shot. Configure IP address 1.1.1.1. And then 24. So, I'm not going to specify a specific v VRF. We'll just leave it at that. And, and then here as well ETH one shot say no shot IP, IP address one that two one that two cash twenty four so let's try ping the interface so um both are uh, which support So let's configure our VPC domain to then uh, VPC domain to. So for the VPC uh, peer keep alive link, peer keep alive destination, the interface that facing the Nexus device, which is 1.1.2 source our source IP interface which is 1.1.1 and the VRF so I didn't uh, specify a VRF so the VRF uh, default the VRF name is default so and on the other side peer keep alive destination 1.1.1 source 1.1.2 PRF default so let's try che checking the status of the VRF so VPC brief so as per checking the VP our VPC domain is VPC v uh, VPC domain ID is 2 and the peer keep, peer keep alive link is already up 
uh, next thing we uh, also in here let's check show VPC brief so here keep alive is also up so next thing we do is to co configure the VPC per link the L2 link so in our topology ETH uh, 1 slash 2 and 1, one slash 1 uh, bundled into uh, port channel 1 will serve as our VPC peer link so the first step is to configure both interfaces ETH 1 for Nexus devices uh, we we uh, we don't have to input the range command right here so no shot and then bind it to port channel 1 so I'm not gonna use LAC LACP then interface port channel 1 interface port channel 1 uh, and then switch port mode switch port switch port mode so. mm. switch port trunk allowed feline all and then vpc peer link so in this one I, I forgot to configure the switch port command here one plus one switch port and let's try here I'll just do basically the same config that we did on the other one uh, switch port uh, remember it to port channel 1 and then interface port channel 1 switch port mode switch port switch port mode so this port chunk allow VLAN all and then VPC here link uh, I forgot to uh, to enter the no shot command no shot So uh, as you can see, I didn't do any changes. Uh, it, it's that the it took a while to for the VPC peer status to go up, but then uh, right now it's uh, already up for both uh, peers. Allowed is to remember the. Uh, switch ports, switch ports facing the switch into the VPC VPC number 21 so first uh, we're going to configure ETH uh, 1 slash 5 and 4 into port channel 2 so interface ET, uh, configure the interface ETH 1 slash 4 comma ETH 1 slash 5 switch port channel group 2 and then don't forget the no shot command interface port channel 2 switch port mode long. and then vpc 21 so for this one basically the same H 1 slash 4 ETH 1 slash 5 no shot switch port then channel group uh, 2 then uh, interface port channel 2 switch port switch port mode junk and then channel VPC and the one. 
successfully configure the uh, VPC domain uh, keep alive and the pair link as for the switch configuration it's just a simple uh, port channel uh, configuration facing the Nexus devices so we use port channel 2 as well uh, for the uh, port channel number uh, as you can see I didn't use also a LACP protocol here so let's do our show commands right now to check our uh, configuration so we have the domain number 2 and the peer link status is up and the keep alive status is also up so we have successfully configured a uh, VPC and also as you can see here for the VPC 21 it's also up the status is up let's check here so it's basically the same and this one is the primary and this one is the secondary so for the next video we're gonna do uh, testing uh, for the in scenarios like uh, for example when keep alive goes down what will happen to the VPC link a uh, VPC peer link and vice versa if VPC peer link goes down what would happen to the keep alive link so uh, please subscribe and uh, like the video and see you on the next video thank you